And as you get those supplies ready, St. Pete is also doing its share of hurricane prep. 10 News reporter Emerald Morrow takes you inside the city's brand new emergency operations center and shows you how it's designed to keep you safe. The images can be devastating and getting back to normal can take years. The quicker we can recover and the more resilient we are, the better off as a city we're going to get, you know, people back to work, kids back in schools. But having that type of resilience requires serious planning. It's a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. That's where the Emergency Operations Center comes in. Think of it as the brain of a city when a big storm rolls through. My job is the coordination piece, so to make sure all the partners and all the departments are here to be the liaison with the County Emergency Operations Center and to keep that flow of communication there. And for the first time, St. Pete's EOC will now be stationed in the city's brand new police headquarters. We know this building is rated to a category five plus. Um, so it's a perfect space for the city to respond to any disaster. This building can withstand winds up to 195 miles an hour. And with five backup generators, power should not be an issue. A brand new hyperwall will let leaders view camera feeds and weather reports in a single space. New showers mean everyone can stay clean. And hundreds of new cots mean those working to keep you safe won't have to sleep like this. We have dedicated bunk rooms to sleep in, dedicated break rooms, um, even breakout rooms. So if we need to leave the emergency operations center for a quieter area to take conference calls. The mayor will also have his own conference room for private meetings and there's already dedicated space set aside for top officials to meet should things get hectic. The more that we can take off their shoulders and having to be prepared, you know, the better they're able to come in and work for us. It's a great new facility we have here in St. Pete. And one more reminder, we know we're giving you a lot of information tonight, but city officials want you to sign up for emergency notifications through Alert St. Pete. It is free and it could be the warning tool that you need should we have a major storm.